What's up, guys? Once again, you're welcome to our channel today. All right, guys, INEGA has been exposed more and more as a forensic expert today revealed to court how INEG deleted FCT presidential result from Beaver's machine. Now, this forensic expert was brought in by PDP and he told court everything and how it happened. Although, when he gave his testimony, um, APC and INEC objected to his testimony, but his testimony was received as an exhibit in court. Now, upon cross-examination by both INEC and APC, he revealed to the court in totality how he was able to arrive at that conclusion, how INEC deleted FCT information from Beaver's machine, despite the fact that INEC was told not to do so by court. Court had directed INEC to back up this information, but it was not adhered to. According to this witness, he said that he carried out forensic audit of 110 samples of Beaver's machine and discovered that the result had been deleted. So this actually came as a shock. Although INEC declined, INEC objected to it, like I said. INEC, in trying to disprove that testimony, said that 110 you know uh, samples is not enough to actually arrive at conclusion that there was a breach or if information was deleted that 110 is only makes up six percent only of fct and 0.6 percent of the entire nation's you know um uh, polling unit so but um the the witness went further and reveal that he carried out forensic audits and uh, was able to discover that information were deleted. Now let's look at this. You remember that when Peter B uh, sought an order from the court to get access to Beaver's information in INEC office, INEC declined. They never allowed both PDP and Labour Party to have access to those Beaver's information. They dodge and dodge and dodge, and up to this moment, Peter B have never been able to get access to Beaver's information. So, solidify his own case. He has not been able. But, however, this is what court told INEC as at that time, because what INEC have just done now, if actually it is true, that's the contempt of court, because court told INEC straight away that they should back up information of the presidential. And then go ahead to configure it for a uh, governorship because INEC had said that they were going to wipe up the information and configure the governorship election uh, beavers information. But court told them to back up the information. So if it is not back up, then that is going to be a total disaster and it will be a content because INEC was directed to back up this information. And now, why will INEC? delete this information you see that is why they have not allowed it to be to get access to the beavers information and even the one that professor of Webu of uh, uh from an state that was brought in by labor party he carried out uh, audits on river state and and um benway state result and discovered that all of the result eighteen thousand eight hundred results from 18,800 polling units were all blood out. So this is totally, this is criminal offense. It is criminal. Even the deletion of those information from the beavers is a criminal offense. You see, now what INEC is trying to do, they are trying to hide evidence. Because they know that everything points to the fact that there was rigging and that they rig intentionally there was nothing like glitch i mean peter b brought in amazon uh, staff that actually um testified to the fact that there was no glitch she even she even submitted results from all the six zones across the world where INEC had their server located there was no glitch on the february 25th so what INEC is trying to do right now is trying to cover their track He's on to cover their track, and but I don't know how this is going to actually fall out because um, from the look of things, everything has proven that INEC actually rigged this election for APC. I mean, it's so obvious that even 
a blind person will know at this moment that everything was rigged out. PW Legal Council up to this moment are having problem accessing all of the information they've requested from, from the IREF server. They've not been able to have access to all. Just yesterday, INEC brought in few of it from Lagos State and from which other state, Quara State. I mean, it's not enough. PW's team are becoming so frustrated that they are complaining to court every day and court today have directed that PW should give details of the subpoena they actually give to INEC. And if INEC have not followed that subpoena or that summoning, that is going to be a contempt. Now, uh, Mahmoud Abbas, Mahmoud Yakubu, the INEC chairman, was called upon to testify by Labour Party. In fact, six questions were raised. Labour Party said they raised six questions, although they didn't reveal all of the questions to press, but they revealed only one question to press. Now, in one of the questions, they wanted to ask the INEC chairman, assuming he had appeared in court and was being cross-examined, on why there was glitch on that day of, of which he is supposed to be in court. I mean, the INEC chairman is supposed to be in court. If it's advanced country like the US, UK, I mean, you will certainly be someone to appear. You must appear. You don't even send in a representative. But you see, Nigeria is a country where certain people are above the law. Are above the law. So, right away, one of the questions they would have asked the INEC chairman is, how is possible is it that there was glitch in the presidential election, but there was no glitch in the Senate and the House of Reps that took place on the same day? How do you explain that? How do you reconcile that? So that's, that is one question. The they, they, Labour Party did not reveal the remaining five. You know, you must hide your secrets. They never revealed the remaining five. So, but INEC chairman is supposed to appear because these are the things he needs to tell Nigeria and explain to Nigeria how possible this can be. That is why up to now, the INEC chairman is on the run. He has refused to appear in court, even when he's sending representative to give details of Bolatinable to court. He never came himself in person. He sent a representative. So this is the state of Nigeria. Nigeria is just a joke. It, it, it goes a long way to show that this country is never ready to become a great nation like other nations who do not condone impunity but bring everybody accountable. I mean accountable. Look at what is happening to jo I mean um, Donald Trump right now. Look at what is happening to him. That's an ex-president. But look at the way they are. In fact, the Department of Justice is grilling Donald Trump. And if he's found guilty, he will be sent to jail. He may be sent to jail. So that's to tell you the kind of country. Nigerians still have a very long way to go. We still have a long way to go. If uh, if common INEC chairman cannot be provided in court or cannot be summoned in court to appear to give testimony to tell Nigeria the true state of things, that means Nigeria is done. What do you guys think? Please drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is MRCOM TV. God bless you.